Thanks for taking a look at how you can easily work with semi-structured data in Snowflake. Semi-structured data has become far more common in recent years as organizations embrace applications and systems that output data in file formats like JSON, Avro, Parquet, and XML. The problem is that there's no easy and fast place to store and analyze this information at the same time. Often, semi-structured files just get dumped into NoSQL tool like Hadoop and forgotten because it's too hard to query the data and use it performantly. This pushes many organizations to try and transform their data and place it into a relational database, which takes even more effort and negates the advantages of the semi-structured data. Extrapolating even further, it's often difficult or impossible to combine semi-structured data with existing business data, so potential insights and information are often missed. Snowflake, on the other hand, completely supports these file formats and allows you to use them, transform them, and query them with SQL as if they are structured data sets. Furthermore, you can join your semi-structured tables and databases with other databases to find important insight. Let's see this in action. I have a set of JSON files containing weather data across the world. Now, I've placed these files into a stage, which is simply an S3 bucket that I can reference from Snowflake. First, I'll create a table to host the JSON files, and then copy those files into the table. The SQL here is straightforward, and similar or identical to how you'd work with standard relational data. But you don't need special skills to work with semi-structured data. Snowflake stores the semi-structured data that hasn't been transformed in the variant type column, which natively supports the nested structure of the semi-structured files. You'll notice that standard relational columns like T and city ID here exist right alongside the variant type columns as well, so you can use those two types of columns together. Now that I have my data loaded, let's take a look at the types of things you can do with it. For instance, I'll create a view to break out the max and min temp from within the JSON. This view also filters down to just New York City. Again, looking at the view, you can see that we are able to transform the columns and tables within this data set in whatever way we want. This gives us the flexibility to actually find information and insight with a semi-structured data set. The queries that I am using to look at the data and transform it are familiar, with the extension of dot notation and other standard semi-structured affordances that are easy to use. In summary, with Snowflake you can load, store, and actually use semi-structured data in minutes. It supports all of the most common semi-structured data types and enables you to query the data with standard SQL that you already know and use. Best of all, you can combine your semi-structured data with your existing data sources, enabling you to make the comparisons that generate insight in the information you make so much effort to record.